Netheads, welcome back again to episode three of the Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide podcast. This is Kirk. And I'm Jacob, and today we watched the Teachers Slash Detention episode. Now, now uh, it is labeled Teachers and Detention, but um, no, Detention actually is uh, the first episode, isn't it? Yeah, it airs before the other one, which was confusing. At first, I didn't, I didn't pick up on it, but uh, I should have known when it, the whole episode was happening and it had nothing to do with Teachers. <laughs> yeah, no, I really didn't notice until the second episode started, and then I was like, yeah. oh yeah, that makes sense. But um, before we get into that, I guess I'll go, I'll talk, I'll, I'll let you know this time what I'm drinking. Um, so we have Artisan Farmhouse beers from the new Brownfells Brewing Co. This is Pickle Fucker, P-K-L-F-K-R. It's spelt like the ACDC logo with a slash in between. And uh, nice. it's very low volume. It's only 3.5% alcohol uh, ABV. So it's like it's like water. It's super basically. low. Yeah. yeah. It's a eighty five percent white wheat fermented with our house mixed culture of wild yeast and bacteria before re fermentation with pickle juice. So I haven't had this before. Saving it for this. Excited to try it. How's it uh, taste? I haven't opened it yet. What do you have? Oh, <laughs> oh. Um, I'm, I'm like about to start. What do you have over there? Yeah, so I have um the harbor lager. From the Crooked Thumb Brewery in Safety Harbor, um, it's pretty good. It's a little, it's kind of a dark lager, which uh, I didn't expect. It's nice though; it's good. This smells like pickle juice. Really? That's crazy. <sighs> wow. What's it taste like? It tastes, it tastes like, like pickles. It tastes like pickles. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you gonna be able to drink the whole thing? I don't. Ha- I love pickles. I like. I I love it. This is uh, this brew is. I mean, this was made for me. You know what I mean? Nice. If, if anybody's going to drink this. Yeah, and uh, at that low of a percentage, you're basically just drinking like uh, kombucha, you know? Yeah, basically, it's like an effervescent, <laughs> you know, salty uh, thing. Yeah. But, um... um, Yeah, so the first episode, Detention. Um, it basically starts out with them uh, having a paper airplane and getting in trouble for it. We find right. out paper airplanes are not allowed um, at all. For, I, I don't remember. Yeah, at least not a... I never made one, really. I was never good at making them. No, I can't I make one. You. <laughs> I don't know about you. I cannot make one for the life of me. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're at least not allowed according to Sweeney. I don't know yeah, what so the actual Swe- rules say. So, Sweeney, Cookie's airplane gets thrown... Not by him. How, did you catch how, how that happened? The The door opened for the school, and the it wind knocked, just took it. It just knocks the it out of his hand, it. and it starts going. Yeah. And it's going the whole episode. The yeah, paper airplane yeah, is flying around, taking people's eyes out and shit the whole time. I mean, it was a great design by Cook, you know? Yeah, he's a brilliant engineer, except he fails tests, but I guess that's because of sexiness. Yeah, well, that's in the next. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, but also, I don't know if you caught it. I think you were writing notes when this happened. Yeah. But um, uh, Sweeney said like something about like no um, no airborne thing gets by me or something like that. And then behind them, uh, two people are carrying like a massive missile, and he just doesn't see it. (laughs) A missile. I did miss that. That's crazy. Yeah, it was just like a huge like warhead, <laughs> and Ned bomb, and Moe's just like look at each other. School. They're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, the, well, see, this was I think before all that shit. You know, <laughs> it wasn't before Columbine. I guess, I guess no, it wasn't at all. But also, school bombings are very rare. <laughs> That's true. It's harder to make a bomb than it is to buy a gun, especially a warhead. Um, right. I had a question though that came up, yeah. and this is kind of tying into the whole episode. Have you ever been in detention? Uh, no, <laughs> never. I think I, I was. W- I think I was one time ever. <laughs> nice. I don't remember why? why. I don't fucking even remember why. Damn, rip. Um, I want to yeah, say it no. happened, though. <laughs> no, I mean, I was a TA for in-school suspension, but I was never uh, one of the ISS. people in it. Wow. Were those people yeah. scumbags? Those people were fucking insane, dude. The one time we were, I was in there, which was the craziest time. This fucking this guy that was he he like wanted he was trying to get out of in school suspension so he was like trying to make himself throw up in a trash can. 
<laughs> That's some shit from this episode. They or, <laughs> you, like almost. It was the craziest thing to see happen. Like you I could have seen, seen that, that he was trying to make him do it. <laughs> that could have been one of the tips, man. Fake well, an make illness. Throw up. <laughs> yeah, yeah could have been. Yeah, make yourself throw up. But like the thing is, is that the in school suspension room was like really small, and like the lady, the teacher, or whatever you want to call her, she was always in there. She was never not in there. <laughs> that was that one woman. That we- yeah, that strange she, woman. What was her she name? She had. I don't remember. Oh but she had, man, she, she had cereal, the little. Right? No, she would have the. She had that little refrigerator in a room, like this old ass fucking refrigerator, and um, she just kept like bread and butter in it, <laughs> like just like lo- like slices of white bread, and she would just take out like slices and just like butter them like non toasted and just like start eating it, and she had like offered it to us all the time, and, and I was like, I'm good. <laughs> She's not a thin lady. No, she didn't give a fuck, dude. She was just eating white bread with a lot of butter on it. <laughs> That's badass. It's like a big thing of like country crock butter. <laughs> wow. Um, One note. Yeah, also, that was a another, weird class. Yeah. That's crazy. I, I, I remember when you did that and I was like, that's an interesting thing. You're just <laughs> well, I got TA. forced into it. So. You guys did all the T. Ta- I was never a TA for anything. I was a TA twice, but the second time was for Miss Stiglitz and that was like really easy because like she was just chill as fuck. It's you it's know. a weird concept that like you were just a TA, but like over people your same age, right? Yeah, we didn't do anything though. <laughs> like you don't have to do it's anything. It's not like as being a TA, a TA in, in college or whatever. They're no, called. no. You literally like the only thing I did when I was a TA for the our English teacher was I did my homework because it was first period, so I was doing my math <laughs> homework for the next period. It's a free period, basically. And uh, and then I would I was late every day. And and then I would go get mail for her from her mailbox over in the office. So I'd get to walk across school and like see the kids that were just like blatantly skipping class, just like <laughs> sitting out there. No one gave a fuck. <laughs> the SRO officer just like nods to him and like gives him rides in the golf cart and shit like that. He was always buddy buddy with those kids, wasn't he? Yeah, he he was buddies with the people who were like scumbags. <laughs> He's like, as long as you guys don't bring any guns or drugs into this school. They brought drugs but the thing it. was, they, they, they were drugs bringing a lot of drugs into the school. Right, for sure, right? <laughs> they were popping zannies before it was a thing. Oh, shit, yeah. Doing Spice, K2. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, drinking Four Locos. <laughs> yeah. But Ned had on a um, a dope denim jacket with cargo pants. Yeah, it was a dark as fuck denim jacket, which it's not. that's not my favorite shade of denim. Oh, you know, I, I like prefer, dark denim. I prefer a light denim. You see, I like a... I, I like a raw, and my and my denim jacket isn't this way, but my denim pants are this way, and it's just it's just when you first buy them they're dark as shit. Now they're starting to get worn in a little bit, but it's yeah. like you know what I mean. That's that whole that's the whole raw. Denim I feel thing. like I feel like I'm more okay with the pants being a dark denim rather than a jacket. A jacket yeah. dark denim is like weird to me. Oh yeah, and wearing and if and they make them if you if you had a raw denim jacket it would take it those things take so long to wear in because how often are you wearing it you know what i mean not not off well i mean not every depends day. where you are unless, i guess unless uh, yeah it depends who you are yeah or where <laughs> oh that too yeah i mean in florida you know not as often well you know if you're gonna have a jacket in florida a denim jacket's a good jacket to have not too heavy yeah it does not keep you very warm right it's a you got really, to really layer really layer up you got to layer a, up hard and it's a perfect layering jacket it's a good one i wear mine uh during the winter now probably like twice a week yeah you know but so koki gets (laughs) koki gets put in detention for the for the um paper airplane does ned for mouthing off basically right or yeah and then moe's almost get he she says sweeney says one more word and you're in detention with them and she sacrifices herself she says after he starts to walk away she says word and she's in the (laughs) same boat as them man yeah, I mean, to be fair, she thinks about it for a little bit. She's like, is this going to be fucking worth it? Like, why actually am I doing this? But then, Is this going on my permanent she, record? Yeah, and then she she broke and she said it. Um, she also Attention. had, like, she had pigtails this episode. Yeah, I was going to say which, that. Yep. Yeah, which was um, weird to see. She kind of looks weird with pigtails. Um, what I was figuring when we were watching was that she was dress like that just to try to make her look younger because i feel like she's got to be older than them right like in real life 
Yeah, in real life, like the actress. You know, I don't know. That's interesting. We can look that up. <laughs> you got your you got the IMDb pulled up? Yeah, I'm trying to find it out now. Yeah, I don't know. I, she was I, born in 89. And Oh, damn. And Werkheiser was born She would have been old then. Yo. He was born in 91. She is older than him. Damn. All 89 right. to 91. Right on. Only a couple years, but you know. 89. At that age, those years mean make a big difference. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, especially because I mean And Daniel Curtis Lee, aka Cookie, also born 91. Nice. Okay, so they're only a few years older than us. Yeah. Um, Moe's more so, being uh, from 89. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nedheads, I need you to I need you to DM uh, Daniel Curtis Lee. I need you to DM Devin Workheiser on Instagram. <laughs> we need to get them on the show. I don't care and, if they can or they cannot watch an app, whatever. We could just do an interview, hang out, whatever. But and that's, what that's a Mo's, goal of mine. What? What's the uh, that actress's name? DM her too. Yeah, for sure. I haven't actually been on her social media. That's why I didn't list her. But we, for sure, we, her we too. Follow, Lindsay, we follow her. She might be the easiest one to get out of <laughs> out of the no, three. No, because she's no. I don't think so. She's done movies. Yeah, you're and probably TV right. Shows and no, shit. Lindsay Shaw, for sure. I think the easiest. Well, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to like be mean or anything. No, they're ballers, but, man. These people are legends. She's got a lot of work. She's very busy. She would be. Yeah, she, I'm she looking does at a lot. looking at her IMDb. Loaded up, loaded yeah. up with stuff. She was on. Yeah, no. If yeah. you need to find her account, uh, if you go on the on the Harbor Boys Instagram account, we follow her. Yeah, yeah, we follow all these all these guys. We follow all of them. Abby was on it. She was like, "All right, I'm following everybody." Yeah, yeah, we yeah. follow Coconut Head. That's I was why gonna I know say, he's a DJ. <laughs> are you following Rob Pinkston? <laughs> Is that Coconut Head? <laughs> that's Rob. That's, that's yeah, Coconut yeah. Then Head, we follow yes. him. I don't know his real name. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um. um but yeah, yeah so, so uh, oh, the bullies come <laughs> over um, right after the, the 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 kids get detention. They got and, PTSD. Uh, they do like they they do some sort of like knock knock joke or something like that, or they start to do one, and then uh, Cookie says, "Who's there?" and and then Billy's just like, "Are you trying to make fun of me?" <laughs> and then he tells Cook to get lost, and he fucking runs away. Yeah, that was. I a just good thought moment. it was funny. He got so fucking scared. <laughs> He's very dumb. Um, but yeah, so then, uh, it cuts to them in the, uh, lunchroom and the lunch lady is just like telling people's fortunes through the peas. Well, hold on before that. So the bullies are telling them that about detention, they tell them that yeah. detention is full of eighth graders, eighth graders. That's when kids start to really go wrong. Hardcore. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so, fair. and so there's a, there's a group of degenerate eighth graders that go around even terrorizing the bullies. Apparently, Billy's in the same grade as Ned. I always yeah, worked. he's a fucking sixth grader. <laughs> <laughs> he's a goddamn child. He could, he could be a seventh grader, but based on their relationship, they seem no. like they're the same age. They go back because he's he's there the whole time. They go back. He's well, there he the talks the whole time. They are. They have stories about kindergarten. When yeah. Ned, when Ned walked into the girl's bathroom. <laughs> but so, I, yeah, I can't believe it. We see the we see the eighth graders coming around. They're terrorizing kids. And then we see Coconut Head come around the corner because after the bullies walk away, Ned and the and the crew are like, oh, it couldn't be that bad. And then they see Coconut Head. Coconut Head's turned white. He's got, he's, he's, he's in white face. He's wearing a white <laughs> coconut wig. He looks like he could have been like a marble statue. <laughs> he's shell shook. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, yeah, it's that bad. And yeah, he leaves. He leaves. He walks out the door. Yeah, he fucking leaves school. He's done. Yo, yeah, well, actually, the, why I did guess he have in the middle of the day, like, right? <laughs> I don't or know. Or is this at the end of the had. day and they're like wrapping up? They, I don't know what day this is. It's very slippery the way the time works in the show. <laughs> time doesn't make any sense ever. <laughs> it's a short. I episode. feel like the time. I feel like time makes less sense in this than it does in Drake and Josh. <laughs> they they take jumps and it's like sometimes it seems like it's the next day other times it could be weeks later <laughs> after a time after a little after a little transition you know you outside of the school sun up sun down oh yeah they do they do that a lot <laughs> yeah that is helpful yeah. um but then they're at lunch yeah with the the fortune telling lunch lady i think she comes back too she's reoccurring isn't she oh she was telling the fortune yeah that makes sense I think that she is a recurring yeah. character. 
Cause they were walking through and she just like picks up peas and she's like, the, first it's like this little girl and she's like, Oh, don't worry about it, honey. And then this guy comes through yes, and it, she's like, don't you fucking do that. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then Ned comes and she's like, she's, I forget what she says, like aviation and trouble or something like that. It's something vague. <laughs> yeah. And it was Lonnie love. All right. Oh, that's um, the actress's name. Yes. A- actress. Nice. And I think that she's a comic. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh. and she was on I Love the '70s. Um, oh, okay. And I Love the '80s. Okay, so she was on the one that you thought the I Love the '80s one. Yes, man, they yes. gotta bring those back. What's going on with that? They, they are those did, like, like? Didn't they do half of I Love the '2000s and then just stop? Yeah, because it... yeah, they stopped because it was airing during the 2000s, so they just couldn't fucking, you know. I, I think it stopped. I think it stopped up to like 2008 or something, dude. It, if they made it nine years ago, they could have done the whole thing. And now we're about to yeah. have I Love the 2010s. Think about that shit. Dude, I, I, I we think VH1 has just fallen off. Fuck I don't VH1. Think they do we this should shit make anymore. that. We should make that. <laughs> we do like a docu-series about... <laughs> we get people Except to we, get, our di- get different people to chime in on some shit. Yeah. I mean, didn't some... Some other TV station did like, uh, was it CNN? Somebody did like a decades thing. It wasn't comedy though. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, it was like current events. <laughs> no, those are, those are pretty well done though. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, I love ones were so great though. The, the like D list comedy, like comics that they had on there. They were hilarious. They, they had some, I mean, they had some good guys, you know, some of them were, some of them were more than D list, but a Gilbert majority Godfrey. of them were like pretty low. Yeah, God. Oh, God. He was just the goddamn worst. I hate his voice. Yeah, I can't do that voice. <laughs> and then they had the the dog on there, the cigar smoking dog. Oh, what the shit. fuck was his name? Um, <laughs> it's like a it's like a verb, isn't it? Or no, it's a <laughs> it's an adjective. His name. <laughs> what is it? It doesn't start with a ch. I don't know. It's some it's some sort of bullshit name because for a puppet dog. Is it like Charlemagne or something? No, the Charlemagne's a rapper. <laughs> Triumph. His name's Triumph. Triumph. Right. Triumph. Very strange. That's a good. He's in that Eminem music video. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For some Eminem reason. really loves like uh, pinpointing his music videos in decades. He loves pop. Like culture. you can always, you can always tell when it was made. <laughs> yeah. Mad pop cultural references. Yeah. So they're in lunch. Did we talk about the eighth graders holding the dumbbells? No, we didn't. Mm-mm. So we see the eighth graders in their little eighth grade um, uh, alcove of the lunchroom. Yeah, just They're like hanging chilling out. at the lunch table. It, a couple of them have one dumbbell in like one hand. They're not really curling yeah. though. They're just kind of holding it, hanging. I out think with the them. one guy was curling. I think the the guy that was um, maybe the in one of the, with shots. the beanie on. I think the dude with the beanie was curling, but the guy. The guy with the tiny weight for sure was just holding it. In one shot, though, the guy with the with the beanie that has the bigger weight is just holding it, and it's just like on the table in his hand. Yeah, no, I definitely believe that. I mean, I don't think they knew what what the fuck they were was going on. You know, they were just like chilling, waiting for the shot. Yeah, so um, I think I think after that is when they go to talk to um, Mr. Chop. No, because no, not yet. Because remember, that? Cookie Cookie walks in. Remember, Cookie walks in with his new wardrobe change. To the lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. he sits down on the lunch table, and then that one guy comes over and gets an autograph from him. That's right. Did you have any notes on that? Uh, nothing other than that he was dressed like P Diddy. Yeah, he was dressed like P Diddy. Full track suit. Um, yeah, this gold is... track suit. Because he's become hard now. After... Actually, no. Wait a minute. He's dressed like fucking Missy Elliott. That's who he's dressed <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have enough. Because he had the. He had the big glasses on and everything. You're right. He was. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like fucking Missy Elliott. Oh my god. So yeah, <laughs> because he's hard now because he's been in detention. So yeah, so he's, he's, he's like adopted a new persona. He's got a massive dollar bill that takes up, I think, his entire fist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's wearing the dope, uh, the connected ring thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is it after um, that when they go to the chop saw, right? I think so, yeah, because they're trying to figure out ways to like get hard or something. I yeah, don't they're know like, what, what the do we do in detention? We're afraid. I've never been in detention. Mr. Yeah. Chop saw, what do we do? And he's like, you got to be strong like oak and uh, what does he say? Bend like bamboo? 
Yeah, and then Ned asks what he is, and he said he's he's more like no. He um, goes, so we have to be, and he says we have to be strong like Oak, Mister Shot. And then he's like, not we, Moses, Moses Oak. You're more like kindling. <laughs> he calls him fucking kindling. I can't believe it. He just he's a little babby dissing Ned. Well, yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I feel like Ned's a little bit more than kindling. No, man. Ned's got a fucking a... book full of tricks. Listen, he's kindling. I feel like Ned is like the bamboo. He's flexible. He's the bamboo. You know? <laughs> nice. That's what it um, sounded like he said. And then, um, yeah, and then Chopsar's arm gets fucked. Yeah, so the paper airplane comes into the woodshop room. One kid dodges it, goes around, spins around, does a couple tricks. Then it hits. I I don't think we see it happen, but something does. It happens. It hits chop saw, and his arm gets spun out, and it's this dope practical effect. You don't see the actual <laughs> injury, but you see the aftermath, and his arm is. I wish you did though. Yeah, he's got like a six foot long arm, and it's <laughs> twisted around this uh this thing. Yeah, what even is that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of a jig. <laughs> some sort of fucking wood wood crafting thing it looks like kind of one of those things that you'd put like a pole on um to like make a leg for some piece of furniture and then like chisel away at it while it's spinning to make it like um designed or whatever I don't know, maybe it's a it looks like it could something. be one of those things i don't know maybe it's i have no, i don't lady. know how to make anything so i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't tell you um yeah and then what comes um, after that i think that's I think they they try they to go, find the detention room. They oh end up right, the yeah. Club. Yeah, Mr. Monroe's room. Um, and the one bully guy's there. That's when they introduce uh, that the curly haired bully guy is into sewing. Yeah, what's that dude? Because he's in there. Well, I have no fucking idea. But right when he sees them enter, he he's like, "Oh, this isn't detention," and he leaves. And then Mr. Monroe is like, "That there goes the best cross stitcher in the school." <laughs> Yep, that was great. And so detention's next door, basically, to the sewing classroom. Yeah. So they go um, in there. No, first, what happens? Um, is that when Durga comes in and says, I need a victim? She does grab Moe classroom. straight away, yeah. Uh, so she busts- is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's before, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so. So D- Coach Durga, and I think that's the first time we see that character, right? Was she not in the other one when he was late to gym class? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I think that I think that's right. Unless it was yeah. a different teacher. Very butch. Very strong. strong. Yeah, woman. I feel like she's not that butch. She just has like a loud voice. She does have you know? a loud voice, that's for sure. But she <laughs> takes Moe's. She recruits Moe's, and we find out later that Moe's cleaned erasers the whole time. Which this must yeah, have been. Yeah, that was her punishment. This must have been pre dry erase board takeover. I think so. Yeah, yeah, because all the classrooms have chalkboards in them. From there's what no, I've noticed, there's no chalkboards anymore, right? No, no. Actually, now, there was some now on kids UF. are just on iPads. There was some at UF, shit. right? Yeah, but that's because UF likes to be old school. We're gonna have a goddamn chalkboard you know? <laughs> in this classroom. I feel like chalkboards make such awful noises sometimes, though. There's the potential. That's a classic. It's it's one of the most classic things about chalkboards. <laughs> um, yeah, and then so they're trying to. Uh, oh no! So then, uh, when they enter the detention room, the the bullies are there. So they walk right up to him because they're trying to. Basically, Cookie's confident as fuck. So he's like, "I'm a step to him, and they're gonna respect me." Yeah, it's like prison. You know, you gotta be hard, and you gotta show that you know that you're hard, so exactly. that people don't fuck with you. Yeah. But they called him out. They called the bluff hard. They called his bluff. They definitely called his he bluff. He ripped his fake earring out of his ear, and then he took his... And then the, the bully... What if that shit wasn't fake? He, <laughs> he just, just rips his earlobe apart? His ear explodes. <laughs> That'd be awful. Yeah, that would suck. He would never be the, he would never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they take then, his glasses, uh, his, his new... His yeah. new... um, His new Missy Elliott glasses, they rip them shits in half. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing. Yeah, they fuck him up. Um, and then Mr. Sweeney comes in. Um, Just in the nick of like, time. Yeah, to be able to save them from like an ultimate beatdown. They're about to um, get so pounded. They, they they sit in the front. And then this is when Ned starts riddling off things that they can do to like 
yeah, try to survive is, or whatever. I think the only tips of the ep no, yeah, the only tips of this episode. Yeah, there was no um, tips. Before one of this. them is uh is to like get closer to the teacher because they're the te- your savior the, or whatever. The teacher the is your best friend. Yeah, so they're yeah. they're just constantly scooting their little table shared desk situation up towards Sweeney because he's like got his head buried in a fucking science textbook. Um, he's a life, but eventually learner. he notices. He notices, and then they have to back the fuck up again. Yeah, that's and this whole once. time the bullies are just like pounding their fists behind that's them, right. like ready to go. So at first the bully is is like, you can see that he's moving his mouth, and they're like, "What did you say?" And then that goes on back and forth a couple of times. And then oh, eventually yeah. He's like, my fist. And then that's when Sweeney comes and like is like, stop. So Ned really <laughs> got him. He did get him good with the, what did you say? <laughs> he egged him on. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, one of the things, or I don't know if it was a tip, but he goes and asks a question. Um, he, and he just asks Sweeney, what is science? And then... Um, Sweeney says, let me start with an equation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really want to know what equation he started with. Like, what is the equation you got to start with to explain science as a broad study? Well, I'll, like, I'll say I think he started with and ended with the equation. The whole explanation was the equation. But why? Why would you use that to explain science to a middle schooler? He's not a normal person. <laughs> He's a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah so then it cuts and then the whole chalkboard has like numbers and lines and like there's a couple just faces drawn on it which i noticed yeah smiley faces. <laughs> there's just yeah there's smiley faces it looks like something that like we would have done like in the gangsters <laughs> back in the day yeah i um, mean it's like something that charlie like as a as a for a for a more accepted um reference reference it's like some charlie from it's always you're telling me would, would <laughs> you're telling me people that guys, listen go, to our podcast guys, don't guys, know the gangsters guys go watch <laughs> the gangsters on mosh pit movies one word on youtube there's a whole playlist all the episodes it t- laid out takes about you. an hour and a half um, it's like watching a movie watch that don't yeah. wa- don't watch the irishman watch that <laughs> yeah it takes half the time right <laughs> More, well, that's the um, half the time <laughs> But basically, um, this episode ends in the tip is try not to get detention. Yeah. Just try not to get it, which I guess is a okay, like, It's a good tip, message. But I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, like, what can you really do with that? Try not to get detention? Like, what <laughs> What if you get it? Yo, I, mean, I got to make that to... money. I got to hustle. I got to sell that product. You know what I mean? How am I going to not de- get detention? I mean, I guess to be fair, I, I never got detention, so I don't, I mean... It, from That's because you don't know the view. life, son. You know, you just like you just go and then you leave. <laughs> you know, it's a struggle. It's, you uh, go to class, you do some of the work, and then you leave. But um, was the weasel in this episode at any? Nope. This, do, he wasn't in. He wasn't in either of them. That so that's what I thought. And what I think is interesting is on this IMDb page, I went to the full cast and crew. The last one down, Vanessa the weasel. Is the See, weasel. That, that doesn't make any sense unless we missed the, the weasel in like a back shot or something just running across the floor. A little weasel Easter that egg. Been, what a useless like thing to add in though. The <laughs> only thing that this weasel, Vanessa the weasel on IMDb is known for is this show. I mean, that's, yeah, of course. <laughs> she was the weasel in 27 episodes of this show. Um. So what do you rate this episode? Hmm. Oh, also for you guys out there um, on IMDb, this is the lowest rated by far episode of the season. This episode as a whole, the teachers and attention. It's uh, it was a six point something. What was it? It was a six point um, six point six, and the next closest low episode was a seven point two. I think I rated so. my the past two episodes, half episodes, somewhere between six and seven for both of them, right? Think so. And so. I want to say I'm going to give this one a 5.5, honestly. You think so? I, you know, that seems harsh. Yeah. Maybe it is harsh. But I feel like it wasn't on the level of the other ones. That's fair. I mean, I'm not going to go much higher. I'm going to go at a clean 6. Yeah, I was really almost going to um, give it a 6. Yeah. I think it, I think it was fine. I think it was uh, pretty pretty close to on par with like the first episode. 
Um, the, the last episode, those two were better for sure. I feel like this is more on par with the original, um, episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, then it, uh, like, just like last time it immediately cuts into the next mini sode with, uh, that same teacher talking who I can never remember his name for some reason. That's right. It starts, it, it did the same thing in the same class. Yeah, which when it first happened, I was like, are we on the right one? <laughs> which is, I guess, like a history class, right? Yeah. yeah. His name's history. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. Man, they didn't give him like a great name. It's such right, a forgettable right, name. Yeah, right with a W. Mr. Wright. Um, yeah, so he's talking about some sort of bullshit. Do you remember what in, it is? Oh, currency, uh, if, right? If you're in Bratislava and you want to buy some Hulinski... What kind of currency do you use? I think is what he says. Something like that. And then Ned's like, ruble. Which, I think, fair guess. It sounds like you're in Eastern Europe. Maybe Russia. Maybe you're yeah. using rubles. No. And the real the <laughs> real thing, I think it was a Carano or a Carana or yeah. some shit. Something like that. And, he, and then Ned goes on to list, these are the types of teachers you might encounter. And Mr. Wright is the questioning teacher. Yeah. Well, the first tip was um, to always, or no, was it was the first tip not to always just try to he has, answer the question because they appreciate it. No, he has one tip, I think, for each type of, you know, teacher. So his tip right off the bat for the questioning teacher is raise your hand even if you don't know the answer because they'll just tell you oh, what the right, right answer is yeah. and they'll appreciate you being being the person that raises their hand, turning you into the um into the teacher's pet, I think. You know, which no one wants to be that. Yeah, so you raise your hand. They like it. Then there's the boring teacher. Yeah. The boring teacher was... What class was that? Um, fuck, even, I didn't take any notes on those teachers. They don't even, like, go um, into what class she teaches. But she, the first distracting teacher, she just blinks a lot. Like, like a weird amount of blinking. Yeah. Which, and then the other guy was the comb-over dude with the beard that combs into a hair. Which, pretty sure that... He becomes a music teacher, but in this, he's some sort of language teacher. I believe that's right. I believe. Yeah, because he, cause he becomes yeah. like the, it's like music theory or some shit, right? That he becomes or something. That's what I thought. It, I think like a college band. level class. It's, it's all the music it, I thought. No, no, because there was two different, I thought there was two different music teachers. Because there's an episode where there's rivalry music teachers, and I thought he was the easy one, which was like music theory. And then the other one was like actually learning how to play an instrument. I feel like music theory is harder. Yeah, but it was it's middle school music theory, so <laughs> so they're just like sleeping and shit. You took but guitar, right? With um. Yeah, it was the McFetrich. hardest thing ever. <laughs> it was the worst thing, and he was an awful teacher. He was an awful teacher, and he and he wasn't there. I no, he lasted one year. He was a he was a stain on uh, PHU. He had three heart <laughs> attacks while he was there. He would sleep. Fuck. He would sleep in his office. He didn't know how to play guitar, he was not, so he couldn't teach it. Not a thin man. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But to be fair, I appreciate that he pushed me um, to leave the class. Um, Jake. Not actually, just by being a bad teacher. Um, and then I got into stagecraft, and stagecraft was yeah. easy as fuck, and it was dope because there was, you know, we were chilling. Well, come on. <laughs> I mean, stagecraft is what is it really is a class where it's like it is what you make of it yeah you could you could fuck around and like still get by or you could actually be into it and you know do and stuff. help build the sets <laughs> <laughs> see i didn't do that mr. i just fucked around yeah mr howard <laughs> he wore like all black he had a ponytail he had he had yeah, a he face dope. made out of leather <laughs> Yeah, we were just chilling. We were just running around the the fucking uh, theater. <laughs> that was great. I was in one time. You did it, I think, twice, right? No, I I did it one semester. Okay, we just did it at different times. Yeah, it was different times. Yeah, the, the, I had it with Matt and Ned. Yeah, and there's a third kind of teacher, the distracting teacher. Uh, we went into the first yeah. part of that, right? And so the second, no, we did that. Wait, hold on. There were two distracting teachers up front, but then later on, there's a third. T there's a third kind, and that's that's what threw me off because because that's Cookie's plight. Oh, the hot teacher, the the sexy ass fucking Latina teacher. <laughs> yeah, which I mean, I guess fair play. She was she was pretty attractive. 
Um, not like so much to where I think he needs to like die being um, distracted by her. Yeah, I mean, she was right. You know, she wasn't wearing like revealing clothes. She was wearing like normal clothes. She wasn't wearing she was, right. She just had a pretty face. She wasn't that young. No, she was probably like late twenties, early thirties. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some might say past her prime, but what are you gonna do? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Um. Then he goes into the evil teacher, whose goal is to destroy you, aka that is Sweeney, for Ned. Yeah. And he's got, like, fire behind him Yeah. in the doorway. Yeah, I feel like I never had that experience. What, the evil teacher? Yeah, I don't know about you. You don't think uh, that Spanish teacher um, that I had for Spanish 3, I'm pretty sure you had her, too. Um, she, you don't think she was evil? She loved me. She was the worst. <laughs> I had no problem with her. All, I had a problem with the class. All my other teachers were fine. The, cla- all my other the class were was horse shit, but that's because Spanish is hard. Spanish is hard as fuck, bitch. They want us to just be speaking another language by the time our brains are already half developed. I know. I remember one time we had to do a, uh, some sort of like story we had to come up with. And she thought I, uh, she thought I plagiarized it because, uh, (laughs) because I used Google translate. (laughs) So Google translate, it was using like conjugations we hadn't learned yet, but I didn't, I didn't pick up on it. (laughs) Jacobo. I think this is. This is this is she, too good for you. You cheated. She you clearly no, she, cheated. She, she was like, "You fucking plagiarized the story." I was like, "No, I didn't. I just didn't tell I her just, that I used Google <laughs> Translate." That's crazy. That's weird. But, that that's where her, that's where she went. She's like, he probably like maybe took some sort of Spanish speaking like actual like written in the Spanish language like piece of text and yeah like but where would i have found that some sort of short (laughs) story that pertained to the to the prompt yeah like i don't understand what the fuck she was talking about (laughs) i don't know she was just i don't know that was the only time i've been accused of cheating that was that was miss galante but miss alfaro was um (laughs) just call him out (laughs) yeah you gotta say the whole name who cares no 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 one's gonna find it no one knows who these people we don't even know what school this was we didn't say that I've said it already. It's Palm Harbor University <laughs> High School. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. Just but they were fine. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, no, they're probably retired half of them now. So I got ahead of the story about Cookie. Cookie comes in wearing a velvet suit. Yeah, I think it's burgundy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing like the dope, like he, leisure um, dinner jacket thing. And he has not a tie, not a bow tie, but I think an ascot. Yeah, he has the ascot action, yeah. And they're like, "Why are you dressed up, Cookie?" And he's like, "Well, I, I, my favorite period's coming up." And then the hot, the hot teacher runs by. Doesn't he have that every day? Did he change into that mid midday? I think he changes into that midday. Wow, that's commitment. Maybe, which would be um, part. It, it could, it could be good if he had gym right before. So he goes, he takes a shower, he puts on his cologne, and then he gets into the new outfit. Did you ever shower once at school? Never. I would never. <laughs> Me you can't neither. take that risk. I'm, you can't take that fuck, risk. That's crazy, dude. What if someone fucks with you? Who could fucking ever do that? Yeah, you're going to get taken. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was thinking more like they take your clothes or something. They're going to call you out. They're going to make fun of your pubes or, yeah, or something. They run in there and they're like, wow, look, he's got a. He's look at his fucking peen, guys. This guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. And you've just been in water, so, you know, that's not fair. You had a pool at your school? <laughs> You're taking an ice-cold shower in there. Oh, that water. <laughs> yeah. You weren't doing laps. <laughs> well, that no, I didn't have... We, did, we didn't have a pool in school, which is weird because we went to Florida schools. You'd think they would have had pools. Pools are expensive, man. You're right. We were in public, so... Oh, yeah. Even the, even our swim um, team didn't swim at the school. They swim, like, no, they at the YMCA, swim at the right? Y. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair, though, the Y was right across the street. Yep, we lucked out. Hop, skip, and a jump right over there. Yep. Um, so we see Ned. Yeah. We see Ned and Cook. They get they get some grades back on some tests. Ned failed. Yeah. Cookie failed. Oh, no, wait. Ned... Isn't this isn't this after um, Moe's talks about her teacher, how, her, how she just fucking loves her teacher? I have it in the opposite order. Oh, okay. Go ahead, then. Um... Ned's in Sweeney's class, so he fails the science test. 
right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, which seventh grade science I enjoyed. Yeah, I don't remember being hard at all. <laughs> no, I re- not at all. Actually, I got all A's, just straight A's in seventh grade. I'm almost positive. It was all it, yeah. It was one of my strong years. Not math. Yeah, not math a, though. Never math. Strongest year. No, not even in seventh grade. Maybe better than. Uh, not not even seventh. Dude, in sixth seventh grade was I, seventh grade was pre algebra. Dude, I remember sixth grade <laughs> math fucked me up. Really, sixth grade math? I think it was the teacher. I don't know. Had to have been, because sixth grade math is just like just. I think it's just called math. No, no, no. Because <laughs> then I had I had sixth grade math, which I don't remember what it was called. We, and then I in seventh grade I had pre algebra. We were talking about in eighth in eighth grade I had algebra one. Yeah, you were ahead of me, but we had the multiplicative inverse and shit. Fuck, I don't know what that is. That's what I'm saying. I remember that phrase though. That's all I remember. It just scarred you. Yeah. Man, did you ever have to take like um in, in middle school like a reading class? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, I took like a I took a reading class. It was kind of, it's it's kind of a weird thing cuz like why do you have that but then also have like language arts? Like why why are they separate? You had two you had <laughs> two different ones, huh? Yeah, I had two. Only for one grade. I had like some sort of advanced reading thing and then I had language arts as well. I feel like if the at least I'm pretty sure I had to. I feel like if the class is called reading, how advanced could it be, right? I don't. I just remember we read books, and that's it. Did you talk about them? I'm pretty sure that yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the class that we read, um, the hatchet, and I think I read the K in that book or in that uh, class. I don't think I had that, but that was what year was that? I think sixth grade. Yeah, I was in New York then. Fuck. So, was so, sixth grade... Could have been anything. Yeah, was sixth grade for you middle school? Yeah, it was middle school. See, um, for us, it was like... It was an interesting setup, because it was like the elementary school, and then you go over to the middle school, which is like next... Like, combined, same building, but like segregated to the high school. Yeah. But only seventh and eighth grade was considered middle school. Huh. So, sixth grade was its own wing of the elementary school. Everybody's well, like I mean, way to be fair, older than everybody else. To be fair, that is kind of a fucked up year uh, of your like a human's existence is when they're in sixth grade. Yeah, for sure. That was the first year where yeah. we had different teachers for different periods, though, and lockers and shit. Right on. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, our middle school down here in in Florida is six and six. Well, I guess not. Probably not everywhere, but when when I went, it was sixth, seventh, and eighth. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. And so that brings us to Moe's talking about math class, how she likes math class. But She that, loves math, but it still wood, wood shop is her favorite. Well, I think that she might even be lying about that. That might be a lie, her saving safe, her safe face so that math doesn't come, you know, because it's lame to have math be your favorite one. Yeah, so she doesn't look like some sort of nerd bitch. Some sort of psychopath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we find yeah, out so then her teacher... It, is like, listen, guys, we got a student teacher coming in here. He's taking over. Bye. She runs out. Yeah, so where does she go? She's going to fucking Jamaica or some shit. You'd think that if uh, the student teacher was actually there, she would have stayed to, like, observe. Uh-uh. No? Nope. I mean, I, I, I guess it's working, like, the same way, like, a substitute teacher would work. Yeah, but it's not. It's a student teacher. Yeah. So. Um, and he cannot handle the heat. No, he's an Asian man. He can't do it. He doesn't look that young. He looks like he's he looks mid mid to late thirties, right? Just as old as the teacher. Yeah, but that's fine. You know, sometimes people start new uh, lives at that age, right? <laughs> new ventures. Yeah, true. True. I'm gonna be a teacher, man. I'm gonna give back. Yeah, and then he's like, and then he just can't handle the <laughs> the giving back process. Yeah. So um, everybody was like, "So you're a teach? You're a student? You're like us?" You have no power. And then they start, yeah, they I pull guess. out their projectiles. Billy Loomer, he pulls out a 64 ounce jug of pickles <laughs> that he had on. Yeah, where did he, he get that, under his chair. that jar of pickles? <laughs> Why, though? Why did he have like a, an industrial sized jar of pickles that you would see at like a deli? I don't know. Didn't one chick have an onion or something? I, 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 the only one I remember is his because it was so bizarre. <laughs> it was a big jar. <laughs> 
but I think you're right. I think that might have happened before because Moe's walks over during this. Yeah, and she's she's destroyed. Yeah, she's covered. She's got a pickle on her shoulder. She's got like white shit on her, her face. Her hair's <laughs> yeah, her hair's all fucked. I up. I guess those are spitballs on her, right? <laughs> yeah, they were spitballs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is my next note? Oh, they they stop listening to her as she's telling her story, which is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> they just added that in. Just uh, Ned and Cook just don't give a fuck. Yeah, they check out. Classic guy friends. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess that's that's probably gonna kickstart her wanting to have um, lady friends again, right? That's gonna kickstart her lesbianism. <laughs> she writes off guys right then and there, <laughs> but she is basically, um, I think it's, no. So what happens is Ned comes up with the plan to I'm gonna become the teacher's pet, so that I stop getting bad grades. Yeah, that is his plan. And Moses and and Moses and Cook are both like disgusted by that because they don't like you know they're like teacher's pet. You can't be the teacher's pet. But Moses is the fucking teacher's pet, and she's in denial of it. Yeah, she she for sure is because that's exactly the role that she has in that class. It comes full circle um, in, the, in the end of the episode. Yeah, it does. Um, so Ned is basically just trying to he like tries to emulate Sweeney at points. And then he also just, like, goes out of his way to, like, compliment him, like, personally. He's like, you look like you've <laughs> lost some weight. Yeah. Like, I have, son. Yeah, and he says, like, he's looking forward to, like, the quiz and shit. He dresses exactly like him one of the days. Yeah, he's got a lab <laughs> coat over his shoulder. <laughs> it's, like, the same exact, like, he he would have had to, like, see him to plan it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a good costume. You think that you th- um, you would think if you saw that then that the kid is just making fun of you, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and then whenever it cuts to Cookie, oh, yeah. he he's just like <laughs> he's like not able to concentrate. He's right in the front row and he's just drooling so fucking much. It's always him in Spanish class, of course. Yeah, and the glasses like doesn't it say like drool alert or something? Yeah, drool. He ends up he has a um like a paint bucket uh like off to the side where his <laughs> drool collects. Yeah, and and everybody's like, yeah, that's Cook. He can't. He, <laughs> that's Cook. He can't he's handle full, the heat. He's fully hard right now. <laughs> he's full. He's mast. visibly erect. <laughs> in his khakis. Man, can you imagine that? Did you ever have, in in school? Did you ever see anybody that uh, was trying to hide a hard? I never noticed it, but um, I never. You noticed know, it. I'm sure you got some. Oh, for sure. In middle school, that just not even for any reason. Right. It just happened. Well, you know? I mean, all those hot bitches, but no, I remember them just happening and it was just cancer. <laughs> you know, you're just like, that's the fucking worst. Yeah, man. That's like, I guess that's the age at which and in middle according... school you're wearing yeah. like, <laughs> you're wearing like basketball Baggy shit. shorts and shit. <laughs> I would, I don't think I ever wore basketball shorts. Maybe that was, I didn't a lot of the time. Uh, uh, I usually was wearing like, um, like jorts and I was wearing a lot of cargo <laughs> shorts. I was oh, wearing yeah. like some dope, like. Like camo cargo, cargo shorts, shorts and shit. Sure. Yeah. Like like a la Jess, you know? Yeah, khaki, camo. Yeah, khaki and the camo. Denim car- denim cargo shorts. Jort cargo shorts. But cargo jorts. Uh no, never never the cargo jorts. <laughs> and I never did uh never did the camo that was tan. Never did that. It was oh, always God. the forest camo. Never plain tan? Khaki? No, I no, I did I did the regular uh khaki cargos. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, man. I mean, it's real. <laughs> Damn That's right. what nature says. All right, it's time to impregnate. Get it. When you're 12. That's true. That is... That is... <laughs> it's like it's re- you're ready. Yeah. You, you, I mean, like, you ha- you, you're viable at that point, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, like, naturally, yeah. I think so. Yeah, if we were breeding people and trying to, like, get stuff done as quick as possible... Yeah, like uh like in like uh whenever you see a, a medieval show or like Game of Thrones or whatever, the only thing they wait for is to like for like the woman to flower is what they call it is for her first period basically. And then they're like, "All right, she's ready to marry." <laughs> they're like 12. They're like, "All right, she's good to go." <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That shit's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I have the note here. It says Cookie came hard. Then it says <laughs> <laughs> bully light reflection what a, what a note <laughs> yeah. 
Cause um, so we're back in Moses' classroom with the substitute teacher. Billy is yeah. using his, uh, I guess, a magnifying glass or a mirror or some shit to reflect light onto the teacher. No, to he burn was. A hole in he his was head. just using his. He was just using his watch. It was just his watch. He was like, yeah, he was. He like had his arm up. He was just using his watch to reflect. I wonder what kind of watch he had. Some sort of fucking one with a really really clean lens. Yeah. Any. I mean, you know, any any piece of glass will do that, right? But, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, did we mention the guy that was dressed like an Elvis impersonator in that class? No. <laughs> yeah, the guy just that sits next to Moe's right in the front. He has, like, the most bizarre, like, Elvis impersonator outfit on. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a clean look. It, it was really shocking to see. Yeah, he had, like, a <laughs> greaser thing going on with glasses, sunglasses but on. It, but it was, like... It was like more so though. He had, yeah. Well, I guess yeah, kind of like greaser, yeah, because he had he had like the pompadour and everything. He had a black T-shirt, a uh, haircut. Yeah, um, but yeah, she steals his glasses and blasts the uh, sunlight back at um, Billy Loomer and blinds yeah, him. He shrieks. <laughs> he starts freaking out. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good nice. <laughs> yeah, he goes crazy, and then. Is so then we have the cookie drool bucket thing. He gets it. Oh, we find out Ned and Cookie both fucking fail again. Yeah, they fail their quizzes nonstop. Two quizzes each, they fail. And, and while quizzes not, you know, worth too much, they're not tests, right? But I mean, that shit adds up. That does add up. It depends on how many quizzes That'll you have. That'll fuck you. That could fuck you. Could tank your score depending on what what you know what level of F it was. I mean, what? It's F. No, I know, but like if it's like a like a point based system, um, on the F, it could be anywhere from a fifty nine to a zero. I guess you're right. I you guess know? you're right. Yeah. So like that's gonna de- that's gonna weight differently. Um. Hmm. But yeah, so my last note is that Mo's teams up with uh, her teacher. They do, and the only thing that happens before that is that Cookie decides, all right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bite this bullet. I'm going to transfer out of the sexy teacher class. Yeah, he does, sadly. And he ends up in the class with um what do we know what that guy's name is? The comb over guy. No, they don't say his name. I don't name. remember his name. Yeah, but at least not 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 in this episode. Yeah. Which I guess he teaches the language Czechoslovakian. <laughs> Czechoslovakian? Must be. But like we were saying before um he for sure ends up being coming a music teacher of some sort, right? Or a theater teacher? Yes. Is it theater? Music, I think. Maybe both. Though. Yeah, I think he's because I, I think there's a musical episode, and I want to say he's involved. They, they, with yeah, it. no, they do. They do theater stuff because I'm pretty sure Moe's becomes like the stage director. Yeah. But whatever. So that that happens, and then right, Moe's and his Moe's and the and the um, student teacher, they come up with a scheme whereby. The student teacher just starts screaming at Moe's. And I don't know why the other students weren't like, wait, what the fuck was this came out of nowhere? What's what's his deal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, so he's like, you got out of here. You go. You're lucky you don't get expelled. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody open yeah, your yeah. books to chapter X, Y, Z. And he goes out the door and then they're like, it worked. They want to make so. Cause, yeah. So they wanted to plot to make him come across as some sort of a badass. Yeah. Well, basically just so that the, the people would listen to him at all. Yeah. Give him authority. They're like, oh, this guy has yeah. the power to ruin lives. But he could have just done that to any of them. Like, why Had did to be he Moe's, have to Because he didn't like, actually want to ruin someone's life. Because, but he could have leg- he could have legitimately gotten somebody in trouble. He didn't want to do he that. He's too authority. good of a guy. But he has the authority, though. He does. He and he always has. And it's crazy that he let it go on. He was he let the abuse go on for so long. For so long, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, that's my last note. Yep. So they they're like they, you know they high it, I right? think they high five or something, and uh, and they're like next week or tomorrow's trigonometry, Pythagorean theory. Yeah, um, and that, and so yeah. I think I'm gonna rate this episode. I think the same. I think I'm gonna hit it with a six too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I. I'll go six. I'll I'll go six. You think this one was better than the previous one? Not by much, but by a little bit. <laughs> and I don't know if I can fair even enough. justify yeah, that, it, but that's what my gut's saying right now. Yeah, I mean, it was fair. It's a, it's a six. It wasn't offensive. They it were was both, just fine. They were both really on the same level, though, remarkably. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were very... 
similar uh in how good they were um but yeah uh do you have any anything else you want to add to the end of it i think that's uh i think that's about it i think that does it for episode three teachers slash detention yeah uh so i guess this is uh we're calling it Episode 3 of the Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide podcast. Thanks for listening, Ned Heads. Remember to go hit up uh, Lindsey Shaw, Daniel um, <laughs> fucking Curtis Lee, Daniel Curtis Lee, <laughs> and Ned Werkheiser, uh, a.k.a. De- sorry, De- Devin Werkheiser, a.k.a. <laughs> Devin Works Harder on Instagram, and get us on the shit, and follow the Harbor Boys on YouTube and Instagram. Fuck yeah. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> no, uh, go watch uh, go watch some uh, Ned's Declassified too. Hell yeah. <laughs>